Hello everyone, praise be to God, and welcome back to more Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories Game Boy Advance. So today we have a new world card, apparently leading to the other side. Very cryptic, so we're going to a brand new world today, one that was not even seen in Kingdom Hearts 1, Twilight Town. We'll be seeing this world a lot in the future games. Gorsh, where are we, Sora? Hmm. I don't know. I've never been here. Me neither! But that can't be right! Up until now, we've only been to places in Sora's memory. Maybe so, but I definitely don't remember this. Maybe you forgot this town, just like the other stuff! This is terrible! Our memories are practically gone! We'll be okay. See? Look at this. Nominee's good luck charm! There's a special memory that goes with this. One night, when Nominee and I were little, there was this meteor shower. Nominee started crying. She said, What if a shooting star hits the islands? So I said, if a shooting star comes this way, I'll hit it right back into outer space. I was swinging this toy sword around the whole time. Mamane just smiled and said, thanks, and then she gave me this. Sora, I'm so sorry. All this because of me. Namine said she had it ever since she was a baby. And she gave it to you? Wow! Yeah, so I promised her. From now on, I'll bring you good luck. I'll keep you safe. I really let her down. Key of Beginnings. So, we're in Twilight Town now. It's an interesting town, and all the enemies are pretty basic, but they have a lot of HP, so that can be a bit annoying. And we get the Lionheart Keyblade, that's pretty nice. So yeah, we've got Shadows here, we have Air Soldiers, we also have, we'll have regular Soldiers, as well as, I believe, a lot of the various Elemental Heartless, like Red Nocturnes and stuff. Darn it. Now, at this point in the game, the raid attacks are not super useful. There we go. So at this point, I think I'm going to unequip a lot of my raid stuff. Oh yeah, forgot, we have the Captain Hook card. We retain 1 HP after a critical hit, unless only 1 HP is left. It's like the second chance of the game, but it's actually not very useful. Alright, I think I'm better equipped now to deal with this. The Mega Ether gives us our lightnings back! <laughs> Mega is nice for that. Oh yeah, that's nice. Ooh, the soldier card! I'm not sure if I've ever gotten that before. That's a rare one. Let's see what it does. Soldier, add an extra hit to normal combos. Hey, that could actually be pretty good. So looking at Twilight Town, it's actually not super big. Also, I'm guessing Room of Rewards is that way. So we'll actually have to take quite a lengthy detour if we want that, but of course we do. Metal Chocobo, that's pretty good. Pretty standard room. Let's do a guarded trove. We learned Faragah Break. Interesting. Alright, so we actually don't meet Red Nocturnes, Blue Rhapsodies, or any of those enemies here. It's mostly just soldiers and stuff. 
Alright, looking at some of the new things we got, let's see, we got Thunder Raid, Gravity Raid, Hurl the Keyblade and trigger Gravity upon impact, so that's going to be as worthless as Thunder Raid, Stop Raid, Hurl the Keyblade and trigger Stop on impact, that also will be kind of terrible, Hurl the Keyblade to make it ricochet around to strike many enemies, blah blah blah. Fire got break, inflict fire damage on enemies in front of you with a powerful attack, fire, Mushu, any attack card. Okay. Gravity Simba, any magic card? Arrow Gravity, any summon card? I'm gonna try out a new move, I think. In the next battle, I'm gonna- I equipped the stuff needed for Quake. So, we'll see how that works. We'll do a Moogle Room, because I really want more magic cards. Specifically, Funders. Not terrible. Dumbo, Fiery, Thunder, Genie, and Genie. Alright, let's buy another. Genie, Fire, Dumbo, Arrow, Dumbo. We have a lot of Dumbos now. Well, regrettably, we don't have quite enough Funders to make another Fundaga. Which is what I really wanted another enough to make another Fundaga. Unfortunate. But what can you do? Let's use a false bounty, because I want to get another treasure chest in here, because we might learn another slate. Quake. So that's not great for air soldiers, but for other enemies it might be very nice. Let's try it. I guess it's decent. Alright, let's learn a new slate. Ragnarok, leap into the air and fire a stream of rays in front of you. Free attack cards, total value 7 to 9. Ooh, that could be really nice. I'll keep quick. I'm also going to add... A fire for mysterious purposes. But I'm gonna put that at the end of my deck. Also putting the cure at the end of the deck. Alright, so free attack cards with a low value. That works. Cool. Ragnarok will be very nice against common enemies. Lionheart. Alright, we learned the new slate for the world. So Quake is actually a very powerful attack, which is nice. It's also very fast, which I also appreciate big time. Alright, so what I'm gonna do here, fire Donald. Never mind, that did not work. I will show off Ragnarok, though. It's a powerful attack, which is really cool. And if you make it value 9, enemies will pretty much be unable to break it. Take that. You can also move yourself around while you're using Ragnarok. It's a really cool looking move and it's pretty powerful. It's just not good for boss fights because enemy bosses can break it very easily. Alright. Fire, Donald, Cure. Blazing Donald. <laughs> Donald literally burned his butt and then ran around the screen. If they weren't in the air, he could have damaged them by running past them, but it's still pretty terrible. I just wanted to show it off because it's a funny slate. Mingling Worlds! That is a new map card that basically makes a random room. I do not like it. Spellbinder. We still haven't found the Keyblade of the World. Which is... a little disconcerting. Eight or higher, bro. 
Let's use the last steam days. Oh, that's actually a dead end. Did not see that coming. I thought for sure that would lead to the Room of Rewards. Well, at least I'll get a lot of experience. Level up, let's boost our CP. Alright, I would really like another magic pack, so I should probably trade in some of the stuff I'm not going to use. Let's see, what am I not going to use? Oh, there are a lot of potions I'm not going to use. That was an easy one right off the bat. I could turn in Premium Genie! I still only have one Bambi. <laughs> oh my. I could turn in some of my lower valued cures. Oh, that's a lot of blizzards. Okay, I don't need this many genies. I don't. I also don't need this many Dumbos. I have 250, is that enough for another magic pack? No, it's not. It is if I make a new Moogle room. Give me the pack, please. Yay! Another thunder! Just what I needed. So now I have to remove some stuff. Alright, that's fine. got a great deck for dealing with enemies now. In fact, I could go for a teeming darkness right now, because I will make a ton of experience. Alright, level up and store, we are upgrading CP again. Gotta have all the CP you can. Especially now that magic is much more important than it was in the past. Here is the Room of Rewards. Alright. We need an 8 valued blue card. There has to be a Moogle Room. We need an ex a 1 valued red card. Oh, that's going to be Teeming Darkness. And then we need a total of 20 in terms of green. And the Key of Rewards. What lies in store for us in this room, I wonder? I actually do, because I forget what's in here. We learned Warp. Okay. Sounds promising. What does it do, though? Oh yeah, we got Ragnarok, blah blah blah. 
Warp. Eliminate all enemies in sight. Stop arrow arrow. Really? Well, I might just have to try that out. Actually, wait. If memory serves, I've tried that before. And what it does, while it does insta-kill all enemies, you don't get experience for them. And it doesn't work on bosses, obviously, so... Not very good. And here's yet another level up. CP, of course. We have a thousand CP now, which is amazing. There we go. So essentially what I've got, I've got a bunch of fire aids that I can throw at him. Then I've got this slate here. First, it'll bring me to an elixir, which will refill all my cards. Second time, once the elixir's gone, it'll give me my mega ether, which will just give me my magic cards back. So I have three waves of all these fire aids, plus the red nocturne card. I am set. This will be a cinch. Alright, five or higher. Let's find a terrible card to use here. Five or higher, five or lower, then a blue card. Hehehe, <laughs> let's use Mingling World. Well, yeah, let's use Mingling Worlds. And Kingdom Key, or Key of Beginnings. This is the only event in the world, there's only the Key of Beginnings. Well, that looks pretty nice. What's the matter? I feel kind of funny. I'm sure I don't know this place, but it's starting to feel real familiar. Then you must have been here before! That's just it. I never have. Maybe it's like with Nomine. You forgot other stuff, so now you remember this place. No, it's different. With Nomine, the memories of us together sort of came drifting back piece by piece. But here, there are no memories. Everything feels familiar, that's all. Does it now? A question then, Sora. Which is more real to you? Your memories of Nomine, or the familiarity you feel here? Nomine, of course. Whatever I feel here is just some trick of yours. Ha ha ha! The memories' wiles are cruel. In its silence, we forget, and in its perversion, it binds our hearts firmly. I don't have time for your riddles. Then recall that this place was made from another side of your memory. Yes, the other side of your heart knows this place. The other side remembers. You're wrong! I don't know this place. If you remain bound by the chains of memory, hey, that's the name of the game, and refuse to believe your heart, then you may as well throw your heart away. You're no Keyblade Master, no master of anything, just a slave to twisted memories. Just like my Riku, you're not fit to exist. Your Riku? You're so full of it, you're the one who changed Riku, aren't you? Every word you've said is a lie! I'd never throw away my heart! I'm gonna take you down and save Riku and Namine. That's what's in my heart. So now we get to fight Vexen again, and he's pretty much no harder than he was before. He has access to a few new slates, and that's about it. So let's just beat him up with Fire Rage, shall we? He does have a few zero cards you need to watch out for. But it's not too bad. <laughs> Laughable. <laughs> We're not even through our first wave of fire raids, and he's already almost dead. And our elixir gave us all of our cards back. He also sounds like a clown when he laughs. And he's dead! <laughs> yeah, Vexen's pretty darn easy. And we get the Vexen card. And we level up, because he gave us a lot of pearls. How lovely. CP! Yeah, we just completely owned him. Ugh! Such strength, even at the mercy of your memory. You are dangerous! You must be exterminated! Fine, whatever. Just put Riku back the way he was. Put him back? 
fool of a boy, even now you understand nothing. The Riku you speak of has but one fate, to sink into the emptiness of darkness. And you will share that fate, Sora. If you continue to seek the girl Namine, the shackles will tighten. You'll lose your heart and become Marluxia's pawn. Also, I thought for sure when I played this game it was pronounced Marluxia, and I think that sounds cooler, but no, it's Marluxia. Marluxia? Who's that? And what do they have to do with Nama- GAH! Axel! Hey, Sora. Sorry to cut in right when he was getting to the juicy bits. Ugh! Axel! Wh why You sure love to talk. It's about time you shut up. Forever. No! Don't do it! We're nobody's vexen. We've got no one to be, but we still are. So look on the bright side. You're off the hook. Now you can be nothing instead of just being nobody. M mercy Axel! I don't want to go yet! Now you can tell me I don't respect my elders. Brutal. What the... What are you people? Wish I knew the answer to that myself. Well, that was cryptic. But on the, on the bright side, we absolutely owned him. Oh. Uh, I don't actually want to name my decks. I don't need to name my decks. I just wanted to equip it. Oh, actually, I don't want to equip that deck. I have to work on my next deck because we're about to fight Riku again. Alright, review decks. We're going to deck number two this time. This is our Sonic Boy deck. Okay. So we need to assemble more Sonic Blades, I suppose. Six. So it's fourteen, we need another six. I also want some high potions. And we need to fill them with high valued cards. That one. And that one. Excellent. Now we need some cures. Oh, yeah, we get the Vexen card. Revive automatically when your HP reaches zero. So it's an auto-life ability, which is kind of cool. Let's see... Soldier card could be kind of interesting to use. We'll see. First, I want my cures. Followed by a lot of zero cards. Perfect. Now we can add the soldier card. That gives us just enough. Excellent. Alright, let's go on. Nice work, Axel. Good riddance to that blabbermouth. Marluxia, you used Vexen to test Sora's strength, right? Not just Sora's. Yours too, Axel. We weren't sure if you had it in you to take out a fellow member of the organization. Well, I guess you did. You can join the big leagues now. 
With the three of us taking over the organization will be child's play. I see. And that's where Sora comes in, right? Right. He wants to see Naminé, so we give him what he wants. Rejoice, Naminé. The hero you've longed for is nearly here. I'm... I'm very happy. Are you now? Well, in your fits of happiness, try not to do anything to hurt Sora's feelings, am I clear? Yes. All you need to do is layer the memories one by one and bring his heart closer. Sora. Even if you come for me, what then? It's Riku! Enough, Sora! You'll just hurt Naminé if you go any farther. What? You still want to fight? Vexen's gone! You're free! Free? I'm protecting Naminé from you because it's what my heart tells me to do. I promised her. I promised Naminé I'd keep her safe. You... did? There was a meteor shower one night when she and I were little. Naminé got scared and said, what if a shooting star hits the islands? So I told her, if a shooting star comes this way, I'll protect you. And then... You made a promise, and you had a toy sword! Y yeah how do you know about that? But that was my promise! On the night of the meteor shower, I said I'd protect her! Liar! It was just me and her! Oh yeah? Then how come she gave me her good luck charm? Her what? See? But, where did you get that? Oh, I know what you're trying to pull. Huh? That's a fake. I've got the real one right here. What? Two of them? I'll teach you to make stuff up! Welcome to the third battle against the Riku. Pretty much the same as before. Let's just Sonic Blade the crap out the crud out of him. Also, I love the music for this fight. I don't think I brought this that before. I believe the official name is Forze de Mal, the force within you. It's really good. There goes his zero cards. So yeah, Sonic Boy just wreaks havoc on him. And the best part is, we have a few high potions to get our cards back after a while. And now you can see just why CP is so important. <laughs> nice! And now we get the Mega Potion card for that. It's like the High Potion, but slightly better. Riku! This is Naminé's good luck charm, isn't it? It's just like the one she gave me. How'd he get this? It turned into a card! He obtained a world card. Well, that's convenient. And before I forget anything, I'm equipping my old deck now. Riku's good luck charm turned into a... card? So you and Riku had the same memory? Um... Ah, uh, somebody tell me what's going on here. Let's just keep going, okay? It doesn't matter anymore. Of course it matters! Don't you think it's weird that you and Rico have the same exact memory? You can't both be right. 
Oh, so I'm wrong, huh? Fine, don't believe me. That's not what Donald meant. We're just worried. Then let's hurry up and ask Namine. That should clear it up, right? Look, we don't have time to sit around, so let's go. Sora, what's happening to you? What's that supposed to mean? You always get real touchy when it comes to Namine. Did you ever ask yourself why? Before we came to this castle, you didn't even know her name! Now she's all you think about! It doesn't make sense. Maybe you should stop and think things through. Think things through? You mean abandon her? Is that it? No, but... Whatever, do what you want. Lay back, take a nap, I don't care. I'm going to find Namine. Sora? Oh, dra drama. You're all he's got left. If you don't stop this, no one will. But it's too late now. Oh, I don't think you should give up just yet. By the way, Naminé, I don't see Marluxia around, do you? What are you trying to say? There's no one here to stop you. Do it right. <laughs> now this should be good. All the actors are in place. Now Sora, Naminé, Riku, Marluxia, Larxene... It's about time you gave me one hell of a show. Oh man, Axel. He has his own agenda. <laughs> Sora, you shouldn't talk to Donald and Goofy like... Keep it to yourself! Oh. It looks like Sora forgot his manners. <laughs> that was... I've been waiting literally the whole Let's Play to make that joke. I'm not even joking. <laughs> That's it for today. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. Tune in next time. We'll be going to the brand new world, and we have to do it without Donald and Goofy's help. Not that that really matters, because we're immensely powerful ourselves. Hope to see you then. Until we meet again, have a great day, and God bless.